What's going on, guys? So I was getting a weird knocking noise in the, behind my dash. And doing a little research, kind of found out it was a blend door actuator. Um, so I'm going to take you guys step by step of what I had to do in order to fix this one. So right now we're going to drop the glove compartment. And it's a little latch. You just push and let it drop. Make sure you got everything out of it so you don't drop anything. Next, we're going to remove these uh, vents. And this first one is the easy stick, stick your hand behind, push it out kind of thing. Um, the second one. It's not difficult, just use a flathead screwdriver and you kind of pry it out and it should pop right out. Now next I'm going to remove that bar, it's like a, I guess a safety bar. Uh, there's two tabs and you're going to want to push those tabs and pull that bar at the same time and it'll, it should release pretty, pretty easy. So next we're going to go ahead and just remove this panel. It's just clip-ons pretty much. Now in order to get this panel off, you're going to put your gear shifter in a low position so you can lift this panel completely up. Make sure you put the vehicle back in park and you can go ahead and remove your key. Next, we're going to take out these side panels here. They're just pop, they'll pop right off, no problem. Um, and you're going to have a series of screws that you have to remove in order to take the entire dash off. There's another one there. And one more by your passenger door where the vent used to be. Uh, over by your passenger door is another, another panel. You're going to remove those two screws as well. Okay, here you want to go ahead and remove each bolt located around the dash. And this panel that comes up the side of your front windshield, it's easy to pull off the top and you kind of jimmy out the bottom, <laughs> but it'll come off. It's not, not too hard. Now this front dash. Don't just yank it up. You're going to have to pull this out towards you, but you got to be careful not to mess up your sensor. Um, in order to take the sensor off, you're going to go ahead and lift the dash up. And it's going to be a twist, a small, slight twist, and it'll be able to pop straight down. So we got the dash off, and as you can see, the sensor is looking good. Now, again, you got to have another series of bolts for this bar here. Um, not too hard. You also have another bar right here, and you got two bolts holding that down. Now this knife, this knife is what makes this project possible. I'll put a link in the description, but you're going to want to make a straight line cut behind the support piece. It's going to take a little while, but it'll be well worth it. So there's my cut. And there is one more support piece right here uh, on this vent, and I'll just have to cut that. We'll have to just deal with it. It's going to be fine. It'll work fine in, in the end, I, I promise. But after you make the major cuts, and you can go ahead and pull that vent right out. All right, so there you go. There's your blend door actuator. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to which one I use to replace it. And I'll also put other options for you to choose, you know, for your own, own vehicle or your own liking. Now you go clean up the area, alcohol wipes, whatever the case may be, clean up the area, make sure there's no debris and then you can go ahead and replace your blend door actuator. And you wanna make a quick test with your new one. Once you install the new one, turn your, your air on to hot and turn it all the way down to cold. Make sure you don't hear that clicking noise anymore and you should be good. Now we're gonna pre-fit the duct tape. Uh, I'll put the link in the description again, like I said, to what I used and it's up to you if you wanna use a different product. Um, but this worked fine for me. You're gonna pre-fit it so you can slide the vent back on and you'll just clamp down that tape onto the old vent. And there's your finished product. That's it, that's all this to it. Um, I will be putting pictures at the end of this video um, of the steps of things to put back together. I did not get a chance to make the video. I had to make a run real quick, but it's not that hard. You guys can rewind the video and follow steps backwards, I guess. <laughs> but not that hard. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Spectre. Spectre.